on a scale of one to ten, mm-hmm. where would you, if we were speaking and we were talking about to live a completely fulfilled life, so a balanced life, mm-hmm. um, you know, friends, family, business, abundance, um, where would you rank gratitude on a scale of one to ten? Gratitude for me is, I would say, eight to nine on a scale of ten. So gratitude's a big part of being fulfilled and living a life of balance. Absolutely. Yeah, it's really key to... Because it's, like I said, it's the energy you are in. If you are, you know, I will just take an example if to talk about money again, you know, if you say, I want money, or I want more money, what is your energy when you say, I want? Actually, when you say, I want, it's coming from a place of lack. So when you say, I want, you are in place in a place of lack, and what you will attract is situations and circumstances where you will have even more lack. So, what to do instead? What to do instead is to say, I have money in my life. To put yourself in the feeling that you already have what you want to attract. Because then you will vibrate that energy and it will attract to you the circumstances that will bring to you the very, the, the very specific things that you want. Because you are already in the vibration of it. So gratitude is really important in that aspect. Because if you are not grateful for what you already have, there's no chance that you will attract more. There's no chance because you are in a, you know, in a place, in a, in a scarcity mindset. So in a scarcity mindset, you can't attract anything else than more scarcity. When you realize, when you start being grateful, you realize that you have so much already in your life that you can be grateful for, that suddenly you start you start releasing, letting go of the attachment of what you believe you need or what you believe you want more. And it's only by doing so that you allow those things to come to, come to you.